Hi there, this is Jess. I'm a German artist, writer and Genshin Impact player. Thank you all so much for the comments and likes on my previous Mondstadt pronunciation guide part. I never would have thought that it would get this much attention. Again, thank you. You guys rock. Before I start with part two, I want to address some of the comments. Lina Spiderpick pointed out that I made a mistake explaining the difference between the English version of Lisa and the German one, Lisa. I pronounced both correctly, but said that it's the I sound which is different, when in fact it's the S sound, which is softer in the German version. Lisa, Lisa. Also, Cupid Teeth was one of the first ones to mention the possibility that the Luke's name originates from the Latin word for dawn or daybreak, Diluculum. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> it's probably Diluculum or something like that. Um, thanks for sharing this information with us. Some people have also asked me about Deluxe and Kia's surnames. Honestly? I'm not entirely sure about Deluxe surname, Ragnwindel. It sounds kind of Nordic Scandinavian though. Same goes for Jean's surname, Gunhilde. So I can't say much about them, unfortunately. If anyone has information about the origins of their surnames though, let us know in the comments, please. As for Kia's surname, Alberich, it could definitely be German. Taking into account his backstory though, I doubt it's his true surname. Still, there is an Alberich in Germanic mythology. He's supposed to be the king of elves and dwarves as far as I know. The first half of his name originates from Alp, which can roughly be translated to elf, while the last half, Rich, or Rich comes from the Germanic word for king, Rick. We would probably pronounce his name like this. Alberich or Alberich. Okay, that's it for the prologue. Let's start with part 2, shall we? With version 1.2 going live, we got new characters and titles as well. One of them is Albedo, the Chalk Prince. Officially, they used the German translation for his title, Kreideprinz. While Prince and Prinz sound similar and thus shouldn't give you that much of a headache, <laughs> Kreide may prove to be more difficult. Try diverting the word into two syllables. Kreide. Without rolling the R in any way. Kreide. Kreideprinz. One of the titles I forgot to mention in the first part is the one used for the person inheriting the Lion of the South title. Lion Tooth Knight or Lion Fang Knight. As well as Jean's own title, Dandelion Knight. What's funny about both titles is that they are translated into the same word in German, Löwen, Zahn, Ritter. Although I'm not sure if Mihoyo chose those titles intending for them to be puns, <laughs> or if this is just a funny coincidence which arose due to localizing the game into English. So, Dandelions are called Löwen, Zahn in German. During late summer, before they wither away and send off their seeds into the wind, they are usually called Pusteblume by children, which can be translated as puff flower because you can, well, blow away the seeds. As for lion tooth, lion is Löwe, while tooth or fang are translated to Zahn. Combining both words also gets you Löwenzahn. Quite interesting, no? The first person to have inherited the title was Vanessa. She first appears in the official manga, which you can read on the Genshin Impact website. You should definitely check it out for the lore. Vanessa is not really a German name, which would fit her backstory as she's not from Mondstadt originally. We would go with Vanessa instead, I would say. Still, pronouncing her name in a German manner would sound like this. Vanessa. Going back to Fischl once more, I forgot to mention her full chosen name last time. Fischl von Luftschloss Narfidort. Only von Luftschloss originates from German as it literally means 
of Air Castle von Luftschloss. Volume 1 of the novel Flowers for Fischl Princess, which is being mentioned in Fischl's story, is titled End Time Zersetzung, which translates to End Time Decomposition or something like that. I think it would have been better to use a complete German title for it, but well. For anyone interested, it would sound like this if translated to German completely. End Zeit Zersetzung. The waitress at the Good Hunter is named Sarah, and we would pronounce her name Zara instead. Again, Sarah, Zara. However, we would spell the name with an H at the end most of the time. Then there's the blacksmith Wagner. Wagner. Not sure if you can hear any difference. <laughs> Is there even a proper English pronunciation for that? Tell me in the comments. His assistant's name is Schulz. Schulz. Both names are more typical German surnames, though. We would never use them for our first names. Remember the boss lady of the Wangshu Inn? Her name is Vergoldet. If you pronounce it a bit more German-like, it sounds like this. Vergoldet. Which can be translated to gilded. Intentional? Since she tells us that she was born in Mondstadt, I think it is. Last but not least, here are some NPC name pronunciation comparisons. Anna, Anna. Anna, Anna. Marvin, Marvin. Marvin, Marvin. Rudolf, Rudolf. Rudolf, Rudolf. Victor, 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 Victor. Typical German would be Victor with K though. Same for Victoria, 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 Victoria. Hertha, 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 Hertha. Fun fact, Hertha is not only a female name, or an old female name. <laughs> There's also a Berlin soccer club called Hertha in Germany. That's exactly why we refer to that soccer club with she or her. Then there's Flora, 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 Flora. It's actually a pretty modern name, I would say. I haven't heard of any German woman named Flora in history, at least. Michelle, 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 Michelle. Otto is probably pronounced the same way in both languages. At least I don't know how to say it in English. Let me check what Google Translate would suggest. Oh, a toe. I guess there is a difference after all. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. This video turned out longer than original plan, but I hope it was still interesting to you. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to see, either Genshin related or German related. By the way, if you managed to watch this video to the end, thank you. I got over 100 subscribers here on YouTube, which is something I would have never expected at all. Follow me on Twitter for a New Year's surprise in celebration of that. Also, check out my other pages and websites for more art and writing stuff. Or support me on Ko-fi. Every donation is appreciated. Stay safe and healthy. See you. Auf Wiedersehen. Matane. Thank you all so much for the comments on that. I pronounced both correctly, but said that it's the I, uh, the L sound. <sighs> Taking into account his backstory, though, I dubbed it. A <sighs> Taking into account his backstory, though, I doubt it its true name. <sighs> Taking into account his backstory, though, I doubt it is. <sighs> Taking into account his backstory, though, I doubt it is. Feb, 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 feb.
only von Luftschloss originates from German as a little little <laughs> Then there's the blacksmith Wagner. Wagner. Not sure. Uh, miss. Stay safe. Uh, Nochmal. That's it. That. That moment when you realize that your voice sounds different in every language you speak. <laughs> Whoa.